Hey guys, it's Benny from The Strength Factory and I know that loads of you are training at home as a result of lockdown and we're going into winter now and there's going to be a lot more gains to be had. So I want to give you a top tip, a little hack that's going to be cheap, it's going to save you space and then you can get loads of stuff done at home with minimal kit. While some people are lucky enough to have a full like garage gym set up with squat rack and loads of weights, which takes up a lot of space and is very expensive, for most people, the classic home training tools are gonna to be resistance bands. Okay, you can get a range of them from light through to pretty heavy and things like this TRX suspension trainer, okay? Now, the problem that you get with both of these tools is where to fix them. Okay, you know, you put your resistance band around the kitchen table, give it a pull, you don't get a workout, your kitchen table slides across the room, okay? And same here with this, yes, you can rig it in the top of your door frame, but if you're training all the time, it's only a matter of time before that door starts to get a bit secondhand as a result, okay? And um, with winter, you can't always train outside, okay, in the dark and in the rain, and so that means it's good to have options to train inside. And that is where this comes in so i'm actually in my home gym setup now where yeah i've got a squat rack and a bar and all of that but i need to use the space for various things so the squat rack isn't fixed to the floor and i found that i couldn't use either of these bits of kit and so this is what i've done i've rigged up this bar on the wall basically this uh, this baton and i've got different attachment points to it nice and simple with the d-ring and a carabiner, okay, it's gonna let me attach my bands or my TRX at different points. In essence, what I've got here is a 40 mil square baton of wood. And the reason I've done this, rather than just putting these D-rings straight into the wall, is I wanna spread the load. Like, you are putting a surprising amount of load into the wall, which is why that band is gonna move your furniture around the room, okay? And, you know, you can run it literally from the top all the way to the bottom. Now, I don't need to use the bottom because I've already got this bit of wood to protect my wall from leaning weights on it. So that's why I stopped here at about waist height. So I'm not gonna give you a full set spike hacks like DIY video here, but you need to make sure you get it into the stud. This is a stud wall, okay? And in this, in my sort of uh, home gym garage, the studs are about 40 mil apart and they actually work from, from the left here. So I work my way along and then I just drilled a few tiny little pilot holes with my smallest drill bit until I knew I was on the stud. And then I fixed this absolutely bomber. I've got six really long screws in there and it's a really solid piece of wood. And that means that even when I'm pulling on the lower one here, it's spreading the load across that whole area, okay? Now, what I've then got is the D-rings I just picked up cheap off of Amazon. Um, they're really simple, it's only a few pounds for a multi-pack and they're gonna be pretty useful around the place. And I've gone for one a bit higher than waist height for working here, one up high where I can put a high band or the TRX, and then one down low for doing maybe floor exercises or working split squat or pulling from low down. Um, and that's it really. All we wanna do is make sure there's no play in any of the system, okay? It needs to be rock solid. And if you're going into brick or stone, then you need to get the wall plugs in there and spread that load, make sure it's absolutely bomber. And if you mess up your wall, it's not my fault. So you can see the setup here is really simple. I've got the D-ring screwed into the baton. And then look, you don't need to have properly rated climbing carabiners. They don't need that much strength. Well, I used to climb a lot, so I had these anyway. So this is basically free. And then by having one here, it means I can quickly attach and detach bands, okay? And again, I've got a carabiner on each D-ring because I already had them, I don't use them anymore. Um, but you only need one carabiner. It only takes a second to unclip it and clip it on when you move workstations. Across all the different brands of suspension training, they all basically have a system like this where it loops around and you loop it back through itself so you can adjust the height. The thing is here that it's actually gonna be a bit too long. So what we can do is we can basically bypass this if I've got a carabiner on the wall and just hook it directly in here like that. And now 
I've got it at a decent height that's workable and I don't need to use all of that. You know, if I put it up somewhere else, I can still use it. And that is part of what makes this setup so versatile. There you go then, that's my simple space and money saving home training hack, if you like. And if you've already got bands and or a TRX, then look, this is costing peanuts, maybe 20 pounds to get set up and a little bit of work and that's it. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments if you have a go at this or if you've got your own home training suggestions to get stuff done in those dark, cold winter months. Make sure you hit and like and subscribe. And as always, let me know what you wanna know. How can I help you to have more fun on your bike? Cheers.